Good morning. Today we have something different than gravel. I'm gonna clear all these blackberries this morning. First one of the year so far. I got my five foot rotary cutter, aka okay, brush hog. Clear all this back to this tree line right here. I'll probably do this as a time lapse. There's some rocks and stuff in the way that I'm going to get out. These are piles that they piled up for burning. We'll probably just leave this. They want to save this little tree here, and then they've got some Scotch broom over here that we're going to cut along the edge. I'll get down as far as I can get. There's a Big rock retaining wall at the bottom of this hill, so I won't get very far. But on the end over there, uh, might be able to get go down, start from the top, and work my way down. Gonna save these pine trees, but then right here where we're walking in this little grassy area, we're gonna rip all this up and till it and get it ready for our garden. So that'll be this. So probably gonna do two two videos on this one: rototilling garden prep and then the brush hogging if you're first time viewer on YouTube uh, and you've seen me on Facebook uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my videos if you like them foot tiller turned all the sod up looks like it's good to go it's pretty wet but um, I think it'll dry out if we can get some rain to stop here we're in the Pacific Northwest so it's wet 80% of the year but that's the five foot tiller I love that thing it does pretty good when the grounds are all hard too I can take my subsoiler and uh, rip it up and get deeper, but this ground was pretty soft, so it didn't need it. But during the summer months when it's dry and everything's hard packed, that subsoiler gets down deep and then you can till it. Thanks for watching.